Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you, and it's yet another Z87 preview. And I do have to get uh, some kind of clarifications done right at the beginning. I do have to be quite careful with some of my wording uh, regarding uh, certain features and stuff on the board. So you might think I'm reiterating certain points. It's just to make the wording very, very clear. And that's just so that I can skate within the realms of uh, the current uh, NDA. Uh, and uh, I am having to get these videos checked every time I put them up uh, and it's a complete and utter mission. But anyway, I will keep ploughing on trying to bring you early looks at all this sexy kit that's going to be available for you to buy in the not too distant future. We will be putting full reviews on the Overclock 3D website uh, and obviously I will be putting uh, video reviews up as well. But for the time being, we will look at what I can show you for the minute. And this is obviously the Z87 GD65 Gaming. And MSI, I went to an event um, uh, over the weekend, it was Friday, to go and have a look at a lot of the new products. And they've got a very good uh, branding split between the different sections now. And you've got a very focused kind of overclock segment with its own colour scheme, which is yellow. And all the gaming orientated stuff is going to be black and uh, red like this but they've been very careful because as soon as you mention black and red everyone kind of assumes it with the ROG stuff but if you have a look carefully at this board it, the, the only red is on the heat sinks there's no red um, on the uh, RAM or the DIMM slots whatever you want to call it or the PCI Express slots uh, or pretty much anywhere else around the board there was many many other places on the um, Asus stuff where you used to see uh, red and to be fair you never really saw it that much on the heat sinks so MSI have used the same colors but they've gone about it in such a way that they you know they've specifically not wanted it to look like a ROG copy uh, but with that bloody great red dragon I'm not really sure where you could ever mistake it for an Asus board anyway uh, there's a lot of stuff that we will talk about in the uh, main review regarding when you fit this with MSI graphics cards and certain bits of software that you're going to be able to have to uh, tune not only the, the CPU and your system but also your graphics all in together as well. There are certain benefits with using an MSI gaming i.e. black and red graphics card within one of the gaming uh, orientated boards as well. These are all things that I'll need to uh, talk to you about when NDA gets lifted and I can go in uh, in depth and talk about everything. So today we'll try and keep it more about just looking at the aesthetics and the stuff that I can tell you about. So obviously the black and red design. Now, there's a couple of things I want to talk about straight away. Now I am hugging the tripod as ever. Now that is actually, you've got a black cover and then it's red underneath and this is all laser cut out. So it's two levels, look. It's not a, you know, sticker or anything over the top. It's a properly nicely done bit of engineering. And that bing bong in the background, what's the term? My phone's just finished charging. It's a really nicely done heatsink. And uh, they've made this heatsink bigger as well. It's now got a lot more of the Dragon visible than you had on the uh, previous range, which is obviously the Z77. But also something which I noticed earlier, which they never really pointed out at the event, but I love, is that heatsink. And if you have a look, I'm just trying to get this in my hand so I can show you. You've got the dragon there. Now, I'm hoping you can kind of see that. There we go. It's probably the best angle you're going to get. You can see the tail, and this is the dragon's mouth and head, and then the little bump is the eyes. It's actually in the heatsink and it's round on this one as well. You can see, actually, you can see this one a little bit better because we can get closer to it. But you can see the dragon there. So it's actually in the rig in your heat sinks as well. And I know you're not really going to be able to see that when you uh when it's in your system, but it's just a nice little feature that it is there, and I think it's a great way to carry the design um on in now. One thing we can see, there are still quite a few power phases, even though this is, you know, a gaming uh, angled board, there's still quite a few power phases around that CPU, which kind of leads us to believe that this should still be a fairly sufficient overclocker. 
Um, the MSI boards always have been uh, of the, the cheaper than some of the other brands, but they normally do carry quite a punch with them. Um, now if we move around here, we can see that we've got voltage V-check points. That's for some pretty extreme overclocking, to be fair. Um, something I will say while we are talking about extreme, is it has got there the military class 4 logo on it, which relates into all the power delivery and the caps and everything around the CPU area. There's a couple of you know bits and bobs scattered around. The SFC on the caps, I can't help but think, and they'll shoot me for saying it, but it always makes me think of Southern Fried Chicken. Maybe it's because I'm always hungry. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, so uh, just having a quick scout around, we've got CPU fan 1 up there, and then... CPU fan 2 is over there. There's another fan port here, which is system fan 1, which is blatantly for your, your rear, uh, you know, your exhaust fan at the back. System fan 3 is up in this top corner. And then I'm assuming down at the bottom, there we go, system fan 2. And that's apparently your lot. Uh, you do have an M SATA port here to be able to put one of the mini SSDs. Although, as I said in the other video with the overclocking um, board, that I've already filmed. Uh, these are only really any good if you're using them as cash for your uh, mechanical hard drive. If you've got an SSD, I wouldn't really bother with one of these. I would just stick to using your SSD because your SSD is going to um, uh, your SSD will be faster than one of these anyway, and you'll have a you'll have a bigger drive as well. Uh, so just kind of keep that into mind. This is really only for mechanicals, and most of you are not going to have them now anyway. Or at least you shouldn't have. Uh, round the back, we've got eight SATAs. Can't really talk to you about how they're split up within the uh, chipset, but we do have a nice right angled, I love this, right angled USB 3. Um, it is the only USB 3 on the board, but where it's like that it makes it nice and tidy for um, your uh, for your for your, char for your charging, for your internal cable wiring. Now the reason why I said charging is because we've got three internal USB twos down at the bottom but that red one is your supercharger port and then down at the bottom we have a LCD post readout there's a go to bias button this is wicked I love this button if you're if you're on and in windows and you flick that button it will restart your rig and take you straight into your BIOS if your rig is off and you press that button it will start your rig up and go straight into BIOS no messing about Bish bash bosh, easy simple, you don't even have to sit there waiting, ready to smash your delete button. Epic, love that. There's also a BIOS switch, and then we've got an overclock genie button, a power and a reset switch. Now we do see the audio boost that we've seen featured on some of the other boards, but unlike the other boards, it's not got a separate part of the PCB, so you've not got that LED track, which is actually a way of them splitting part of the board off, so that's not there. Um, so uh, you've still got this sound blaster kind of uh, software feature, um, but you've not got the separate PCB. And something else that we can see there is the killer E220, which is you've got killer ethernet at the back. Now, while we are at the back, two USB 2s at this end, uh, with a PS2 port here for keyboard or your mouse. You've got uh, two digital uh, audios out here. You've got coax and uh, digital. You've got a CMOS reset switch there, I believe that is. Let me have a look. CMOS, yep. CMOS reset or clear, whatever you want to call it. DVI or dual link DVI. You've got VGA out. Then we've got four USB uh, 3s. The Ethernet, as we said about before, there's a HDMI and then the audio, HD audio outs there, all with gold pickups. So, oh, the one thing uh, I didn't kind of mention, and this is one of the points where I have to be pretty clear about the way I say stuff. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four U uh, <laughs> PCR Express ones. There's uh, three full length PCR Express slots in total there. This one is wired as a 16 times and these two are wired as eight times but we won't know until the nda is lifted and we put all our full reviews live uh, how the chipset will actually be using the pcr express lanes that are available here so we don't know how they will get split depending on how many graphics cards that you put in and like i said we'll cover that in full in the main review because that is tech, that is part of the nda stuff that we're not allowed to go into depth with you just yet but you will get it 
pretty soon, just have to be a little bit patient. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on the uh, new MSI gaming stuff, because I am personally, for aesthetically, you know, just looking at this out the box as it is at the moment, I'm actually a big fan of this. So I'm personally uh, looking forward to testing this and seeing how good it is when we actually do start loading it up and you know trying different bits and bobs with it as we would do in a normal review and i will say i this it's quite it's hit a little bit of a sweet spot with me this board to a point where i'm i was quite surprised by it so yeah i'm i'm personally really looking forward to working with this one but for now at least i need to get on there's so much stuff to do at the moment why the manufacturers have to release everything all at the same time i will never know but uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't done before. I haven't said that for ages. But don't forget to look at the other videos because we have got the MSI Mpower Max video live uh, on the channel. We've got a massive selection of gigabytes. I've done all the pretty big ones with a gigabyte already. Um, so yeah, go and take a look at those. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with another Z87 preview or motherboard preview for you. Out.